The Council of Ministers convened in a weekly session at Sif Palace today under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Jahab al Mubarak al Hamad al Subah, the Prime Minister. The Council of Ministers took note in the meeting of the resignation submitted by the Minister of Education and Minister of Higher Education and of the decree by which the resignation was accepted. The Council of Ministers was also informed of the decree which assigned the Deputy Premier and Minister of Commerce and Industry to carry out in an acting capacity the duties of the Minister of Education and Minister of Higher Education. The Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs and Acting Minister of Justice Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah al Mubarak al Subah said the Council of Ministers expressed thanks and appreciation to the great efforts made by Mr. Limlefi during his service. He went on to say that the meeting was informed of the formation of the delegation that will accompany His Highness the Emir in his visit to the Islamic Republic of Iran on the 1st and 2nd of June of 2014. The delegation will comprise Sheikh Subah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Subah, the first Deputy Premier and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Mahsin Midaj Al Midaj, the Deputy Premier and Minister of Commerce and Industry, Anas Khalid Al Saleh, the Minister of Finance, Dr. Ali Saleh Al Amar, Lamer, Minister of Oil and State Minister for National Assembly Affairs, Ahmed Fahd Al Fahd, Director of His Highness the Emir's Office, Mohammed Abdullah Abul Hassan, the Advisor at the Emiri Diwan, Dr. Adil Talib Al Tabtabai, Advisor. At the Emiri Diwan, Sheikh Khalid Al Abdullah Subah Al Nasser Al Subah, head of the Emiri Protocols and Ceremonies, Ambassador Khalid Suleiman Al Jarallah, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The delegation also comprises senior officials at the Emiri Diwan and Ministry of Foreign Affairs beside a media team. The Council of Ministers expressed hope that the visit will be crowned with positive results to bolster constructive cooperation between the two countries in various domains for the best interests of their people and to help consolidate peace, stability and security in the region. The Council of Ministers also discussed a number of subjects related to the National Assembly agenda and reviewed the latest reports related to Arab and international political developments.